the Huawei P10 Lite has been introduced as the inexpensive alternative alongside with its flagship brothers. While it costs only half of the P10, does that mean that the phone only performs half as good? I'm John from My Everyday Tech. Let's find out how well does this phone deal with our day-to-day -day use. The metal rim along the sides are sandblasted and chamfered. It is smoothly connected to the 2.5D glass at the front and the back. While it may not have the premium metal build, but the end result is a phone that looks magnificent to the eyes and felt great in the hands. The downside, however, is that the phone is extremely slippery. Not to mention that glass is more prone to shattering because accidents do happen. The bottom mounted speaker is nothing spectacular. It is loud enough for your speakerphone calls and multimedia consumptions. Just make sure you don't accidentally block the speakers. Even as a non-AMOLED display panel, the black is deep and the color is sufficiently saturated and vivid. At full HD resolution, the images and text looks clear and sharp on the 5.2 inch display. The Huawei P10 Lite will be a member of the P10 family, but the main camera on it is just a standard single lens camera. Images produced by the 12 megapixel sensor is reasonably sharp and beautiful. White balance and color reproduction are right on the spot, and most importantly, the camera app itself is smooth and responsive to use. Autofocus can be on the slow side. Consider that this phone does not come with the hybrid autofocus system. Still, it gets the job done. If you pixel peep, you will find that the photos lack the details and easily overshadowed by its brothers with Leica draw camera. But for the price, I don't have a lot to complain about. The P10 Lite is one of the first Huawei smartphones to ship with EMUI 5.1, which is based on Android 7.0 Nougat. It features updated user interface that is easy to the eyes and simple to use. The overall new look is now much more similar to Android's design guideline. And we finally get to choose to have an app drawer, and that is absolutely a great news. Huawei also introduces a brand new feature alongside the EMUI 5, the machine learning algorithm. The MLA is designed to study the user behavior in order to efficiently allocate the CPU, RAM, and storage so that the user experience will be improved over time. While I did notice that some of my favorite apps are now launching faster, but the drawback of having this feature is that the battery life of for the first two weeks is bad. Worst of all, we still don't have any way to disable this feature. Hardware-wise, the P10 Lite is reasonably equipped. The Kirin 658 is basically the same chip as the Kirin 655 and Kirin 650. Of course, the newer chip has higher clock speed at 2.36 GHz. I doubt if you can notice any performance difference in real life. Even the benchmark scores show that they are performing extremely close to each another. Overall, it handles general application usage without any hiccup. Even games run smooth on it. As for the battery life, the first two weeks is not great due to the MLA churning out the battery power in the background. Right now, I'm consistently getting 5 hours of screen on time with around 16 hours of usage. I really hope that Huawei would either turn down the aggressiveness of the MLA or simply let the user decide if they really need this feature. Let me know in the comments if you face any issue with the battery life on your P10 Lite. And all those lead us to the conclusion. The Huawei P10 Lite is designed to be a stripped down version of the P10. At the price of 1299 ringgit, what you get is a mid-range phone with good performance to price ratio. The build quality is good and the camera is not bad either. The only downside is probably the new software feature where it drains the battery during the first two weeks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.